Images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope are not just for the professionals. While they are used for mostly scientific purposes, they can also be used to create some beautiful images. In order to access these Hubble Space Telescope images, simply Google the Hubble Legacy Archive. It should be among the first results. The website is hla.stsci.edu. In order to actually download the images to process, simply enter the site here. In order to search for the image that you would like, you can use its general name, its Messier number, its new general catalog number, or any other number of search factors. In order to see the search factors that you can use, simply click the More button under the search bar. Scroll down to How to Search, and it will show you a variety of ways that you can search for the object that you are looking for. I will look up the antenna galaxies. The antenna galaxies are also known as NGC 4038 and NGC 4039. Searching either one of them will bring up the galaxies. The inventory tab will be the first to pop up. In order to see the actual images, go to the image tab. Sometimes if you are just browsing for an image to find something interesting to edit, you can increase the results per page to make it a little easier to go through the images. Or, if you know the camera that took the image that you would like to process, go to the Advanced Search. All of the instruments are selected. Deselect all and choose the camera that has taken the image. Click Search once more. Now only images taken with that camera will pop up. Each set will have its own proposal number, shown here, in this case 10188, and will correspond to a full set. The archive will also include the total image combined, as well as the color image of all three. These images do not typically need to be downloaded. You can if you want, but it is preferable just to download the wavelengths of light that you need. In this case, we'll be using 435 for the blue channel, 550 for the green channel, 658 as a hydrogen alpha luminosity layer, and 814 for the red channel. In order to download these images, click the Fit Science link, and they will be added to your cart. When you have chosen all the images you wish to download, go up to the cart at the top. Be aware of how much you are downloading, as these files can be quite large. In this case, the combined total is 520.59 megabytes. You may download as a zipped file, or you may download sequentially, or as a curl script. My computer does not allow me to download a zip file, so I must download sequentially. When you choose that option, your browser will ask if you want to enable multi-part downloading. Simply click OK and select Fetch HLA Data in order to begin the download. Sometimes the downloads can take a while and sometimes they are quick. Sometimes the archive will have a glitch where it might appear to be downloading things, but when it shows up in your downloads folder, it will not actually be there. In order to download the images to bypass the cart, Simply go back to the image tab and the data files you want. And on the Fit Science link, right click and choose Save Link As. This will drop the file right into your downloads folder and allow you to bypass the cart if it is not working properly. The images will download as a FITS file. This stands for Flexible Image Transport System. This is the most common file type for astronomy images. In order to further process these images, they will need to be converted from a FITS file to a TIFF file.